We return to the director's safe house and Dare to Love Me episode 16, where he packs valuables as his guys retie Hongdu. Yunbak is already outside, punching his way past more men in black as she cries in terror. As he gives the boys instructions to pour a gasoline-like substance throughout the house and start a fire, the director offers his ridiculous justifications for abusing Hongdu. Yunbak dashes into the house, kicking the rest of the men out of the way. He releases Hongdu as the fire grows, and as they leave, they seize a backpack containing priceless objects. The filmmaker flees on foot into the woods as the cops approach. When Yunbak notices him, he pursues him and leaves Hongdu to handle emergency services. When he catches him, they engage in a verbal altercation in which the director unintentionally confesses to having a hand in Yunbak's father's death. His father had once wished to exhibit the village treasures for the public to enjoy, in order to highlight their beauty. At that point, he disclosed the jade box. In addition to burning his own arm, the director ignited the fire that killed his father. Then again, he only made his getaway with the key, he didn't even acquire the box. Yunbak is about to exact his retribution when Hongdu knocks the director unconscious with a hefty instrument. She argues that since she lacks the dignity of a scholar, hitting a downer like him is okay. The two apologies awkwardly to one another as the police pull him away. While Jun Ho watches from his hospital bed, the news reports on the dramatic arrest of the director. The news that he also killed his son, with whom he had long collaborated, shocks Leader Shin. Leader Shin apologizes to Yoon Bok's mother out of regret. When Yi Bok discovers him at the urn, he offers her an apology as well as an invitation to return to the community. Hong Hak is astonished to find Chiel Bok slipping onto the roof while speaking with Yuna on the phone. When Hongdu sees them, she warns her father to never come back, and he accepts. She abruptly changes her mind, though, and says she wants to stay with them. After being reunited, they cry and give hugs. As Camille gets about to go, he runs into Leader Shin and gives him a bunch of pills. He also displays the pencil box from that era, which he will now hold fondly. He also says he will pay her a visit in France. Hongdu and Honghak enjoy a fun meal with their father in their apartment. He then asks about Yunbak after noticing her passport, but she doesn't respond. Yunbak contemplates Hongdu while in the village. The staff is enthused about Paris as they pack their office, but Hongdu is conflicted. Yunbak plans to meet her that evening. He expresses to Hongdu his gratitude for all that she taught him and his desire to stay in the hamlet to keep it safe. He wants for her to fulfill her dream as well. Yunbak is unable to confess his love to her as they part ways. Yunbak watches jets take off from the countryside while Hongdu leaves her family, sobbing, at the airport. He then calls a gathering to discuss the goals he has for the village. When Leader Lee requests to rejoin the meeting, Yunbak welcomes him back. Ebok visits Junho in jail and turns in a resignation letter at the police station. She promises to go back to the hamlet and wait for him, apologizing for not witnessing his suffering. Yunbak meets with his grandfather that evening to go over the happenings of the day. Ebok arrives and is greeted with warm arms. Later, Yunbak thinks of Hongdu as she looks at the moon. When Hongdu sees a man in Paris a year later who is wearing the suit she designed, she briefly believes it to be Yunbak. It's someone else, though. He requests to showcase Hongdu's spin-off brand during his kin appearance, just as she is about to launch it. Returning to her office, Hongdu considers giving Yunbak a call, but decides against it in favor of checking the online village news. Yunbak thinks of her while he's at the village, especially when he spots a pair of shoes that resemble hers. However, this is a formal visit to meet them. They discuss allowing the public to examine the village's treasures. The village was mentioned in French news recently, according to the official, as Camille's Korean designer gets ready to start her own line. Yunbak is glued to the story with the picture of Hongdu in it. 
Hong Hak posts a picture of himself celebrating on his own while dining at a restaurant and displaying his webtoon of the year prize. Then Yuna shows up to accompany him, and as he can now pay her, he offers her a job as a writer. She promptly consents, admiring his robust handshake. While visiting Junho in jail, Yeo Judik and Chilbok report on all that is going on in the hamlet. After that, he uses the money he made from fixing things to take her out to lunch. When he suggests a committed relationship, she simply becomes agitated. People bid on vases at an auction when all of a sudden the lights go out. Yunbak is tasked with looking into fake artifacts, but he lets them go this once. The following day, Grandfather discusses giving his grandkids the village's responsibilities. They both answer that individuals are the most valuable treasure, wanting to know what the other thinks. He thinks of Hongdu again that evening. While in Paris, she works on a design and occasionally takes notes about the announcement of a new village leader. But when she scrolls down, Ebok is there. Yunbak, what about her? Yunbak, dressed traditionally, appears with a flower for her as the petals flutter. Conclusion expounded. What makes Junho and the director a couple? Although it is never completely explained, it appears likely that the director trained Junho to assist in stealing treasures from the hamlet by harnessing his youthful rage as motivation. The director wants the jade box, but why? Avarice. He wants it, plain and simple. He sees it. He intends to accept it, even if it means murdering Yunbok's father. Why does the director receive the key from Chilbok? The director intimidates Hongdu, causing Chilbok to comply right away. What makes Leader Shen so inflexible? He is a traditional man attempting to preserve a custom that is quickly disappearing. How come Yunbok is willing to love Hongdu? He takes a while to process his emotions instead of resisting. It's likely that he harbored romantic affections for her since his days in the academy. But as soon as he does and finds out that she might be as well, he is all in and prepared to renounce his position in the hamlet. Why does Hong Du wish for Yunbok to handle her roughly? Oh, how formal he comes across at first. Terribly so. And instead of being placed on a pedestal, as his lifelong education compels him to do, she would prefer to be regarded as a modern person. On the other hand, Hong Du prefers a romantic and equal partnership. Is Hong Du traveling to France? Yes, she follows her desire and travels to France. It doesn't appear as though she will be returning to Korea any time soon, even when she is ready to start her own line under Camille. Is Hong Du able to forgive Chilbok, her father? She is, in fact, a softie. She and Hong Hak are happy to have him back, despite his ongoing feelings of inadequacy. Plus, she is aware that he will watch over Hong Hak while she is out pursuing her ambition.